So apparently Alex Jones is not a fan of QAnon. Now, knowing what I know about Alex Jones, I would have assumed that this is his bread and butter. But apparently QAnon is not his cup of tea. And he doesn't like QAnon. I'm actually shocked because this is his people, right? But uh, here's what he says. Apparently he goes on a rant against QAnon. I haven't pre-watched this, but just take a look. I mean, I mean, look, I love you, Adam. Did you hear what I just said in the lead up to that? What did I say to you right before you responded back with, yeah, I know somebody was giving out good information? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. I might have. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You understand? That we lost what was that imagery? Q. Yes, sir. And I have to put up with the Q people all over the place. <laughs> and I'm tired of it. So I'm not mad at you, but you just it, you hit a button here. And the damn Q people were the ones that manipulated some people to go into the damn Capitol and worked with the feds. Q is the worst people on earth at the top. Q is the new world order. Q is a psyop to lead us around by our noses. What? I mean, I mean, look, I love you, Adam. Did you hear? Okay, it's replaying. I don't know what this imagery is. But in his critique of Q, in his denunciation of Q, he's like layering in uh, or peppering in, I should say, some additional conspiracy theories. Oh, they're a psyop. They um they worked with the Fed on January 6th. But like, I I've got to watch that again because he's actually saying they ruined the country. I actually agree with Alex Jones. Uh, never thought that I would say that. Like, that's not the only reason why this country is in turmoil. But I mean, let's I just want to listen one more time. Yeah, I know somebody was giving out good information. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. I might have. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. What it's is okay. this? You understand that we lost the country because of Q. <laughs> yes, sir. And I had to put up with the Q people all over the place. And I'm tired of it. So I'm not <laughs> mad at you, but you just you, you hit a button here. He's so the overly damn dramatic. Q people were the ones that manipulated some people to go into the damn capital and worked with the feds. Q is the worst. Uh, I'm sorry, but um, it wasn't just the Q people who did that. It was also Donald Trump himself. Your daddy, Donald Trump, told people to go to the Capitol, show force, you know, get them to not certify the election. Uh, I love this so much. When crazy people turn on each other, um, it's rare. But when it happens, it's it's something that you really have to celebrate. Um, now, Alex Jones, like he I don't know, like he's a performance artist, right? This is what his lawyers argued in court. But he absolutely is horrified of his own fans. So I want to uh, direct your attention to this older majority por uh, report video with Michael Brooks. And so basically this video is of Alex Jones and Milo Yiannopoulos in a coffee shop. And w while they're in this coffee shop, one of Alex Jones own fans approaches him and he tries to pitch like an InfoWars music label to him. And as you can see, Alex Jones, incredibly uncomfortable, weirded out by his own fan, and he ends up fleeing. So uh, let's take a look here. A fan of Alex Jones and Milo interrupted the live stream to try to do a prodigy to Q-tip move. <laughs> Have you seen those where they go, oh, we're going to get them, Mike? That's a, that's a mock of complacency where... Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, man. Big listener. God bless you. By the way, I just want to let you know, um, I own InfoWarsMusic.com. That's you. awesome. Can you see us online? Just coming in. I saw you on Facebook. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm the Spider-Man guy on 6th Street. Oh, great job, brother. Have you heard about me? I have. Okay, I went into the, uh, I went into the, uh, you know, with civil admins <laughs> protesting the Muslim thing, taxpayer funding of the schools, and I went in with my <laughs> costume and my Trump shirt and the Capitol. It's on YouTube. I saw it's viral. I'm gonna scram, but I'm gonna get your drink. Boom. I gotta go right now. I, I, I wanna set up your for meeting.com. That's why I moved to Austin, Texas. Can you help me do it? Rob D R O B D. I, I, I just gotta pause it for a second. Uh that was what like ten seconds of interacting with this fan and he's like we got to get the fuck out of here. Like, this, this motherfucker is insane. And I don't want to be anywhere near that. He Okay, so this guy moved to Texas to set up InfoWarsMusic.com. Is it still going? Like, let me check really, really quick. Uh, InfoWarsMusic. Say it again. R-O-B-D and InfoWars. I ran into some lady. She's like, I met your InfoWars guy. R-O-B-D and InfoWars guy. Double we gotta split this. Get the words out, the more people are coming. You, you want more funding for your show? Google can't censor a song that sells a million copies. 
And I got 50 artists that are ready to sell their songs at InfoWarsMusic.com to upload their shows. <laughs> Michael Brooks is laughing in the background just makes this clip but I love the line Google can't censor a song that sells a million copies first of all you're not going to sell a song <laughs> like you're not going to sell 10 copies let alone a million and second of all whoever you distribute that music from why can't they censor you is it just Google who's the big bad censor like what the fuck <laughs> ROA contact Rob D R D He's not reading the social cues. Like Alex Jones is very clearly trying to blow him off. He's giving him this email that he will never respond to. And then finally, when he's like, okay, I, I, I shook him. Then he's like, oh, I want a picture though. Wait, wait, one more thing, one more thing. It's it's so, like, you can tell how uncomfortable he feels. And he deserves this. It's Alex Jones. This is a piece of shit. He absolutely deserves this. But, I mean, this is what happens when you cultivate an insane, insane audience. My security guys, we trust you. Like, get out of there. Get out of there. It's like, neat, 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 neat. By the way, you know about the RH. Point negative... for us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know about the RH negative blood types, right? I'm the king of all the RH negative blood types on planet Earth. What does that even mean? <laughs> RS negative blood types. I'm the king of it. What does that mean? Like, this is somebody who's clearly off their rocker. And to be more crazy than Alex Jones, like, I don't know if this is a performance or if he's genuinely unhinged, but to actually be publicly more deluded than Alex Jones, that that is honestly like a feat that is difficult to accomplish. Like, if a lot of you in this chat tried to be more crazy than Alex Jones, like if you put your shirt over your head and did like cornholio and started making goofy noises, like it would be difficult to look more insane than Alex Jones. But this guy does it effortlessly. And this is his fan base. God bless you. One more, one more. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, brother. Yes, sir. Rob, 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 Oh, okay. This this is it's such a good clip. Just seeing Michael Michael Brooks laugh, God, love it, love it so much. That guy was just not reading those social cues. Um, and <laughs> Alex Jones wasn't comfortable. I mean, look, it, it, I don't get how Alex Jones doesn't feel at home with all of the craziest conspiracy theorists. Like, I wonder, does Alex Jones subscribe to the flat Earth theory? Does he actually think that the world is flat or does he think that they're crazy? Like, it's weird because you have all of these weird conspiracy theories. They're all batshit fucking insane, but some of them are self-aware enough to acknowledge that these other conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories and that they're stupid, but yet their own conspiracy theory is stupid. It's like kind of like religion, right? Everyone thinks that their religion is the one true religion and all the other religions, they've got it wrong. They chose the wrong God. Uh, and the same is true for, uh, you know, these conspiracy cults. So it's just, it's so interesting. Never would have suspected that Alex Jones was anti QAnon, but there you have it. He hates QAnon. He thinks they're like the worst people in the country and he's not a part of it. Like you'd think he'd be leading the charge, but no, he hates QAnon. Color me surprised. Interesting. Well, I hope that they, um, they watch that and they continue to tune in, uh, and call into his show because it would be funny to see them, um, push him into these like unhinged meltdowns more often because that was great.